Från Stockholm, i Sverige. Du tittar på Emily is vlogging. Recently I've been thinking, what if metaphors are real and we are the metaphors that metaphors use to describe things that defy all non-metaphorical explanation? No, I'm not Zay Frank, and I never will be. But damn it if I don't just want to make a Zay Frank-esque video just this once. Uh, is vlogging. So recently I've been feeling kind of crappy. I moved cities, and that's really exciting and fun, and it's also lonely and miserable and scary. Fun and exciting because of the new places, the new people, the new favorites to bookmark IRL. But scary and miserable because of that sinking feeling you get when you realize you don't know what number tram you're on, you don't know where you are or where you're going, and everyone you know is 800 kilometers away. And moving left me completely broke, with a brand new city to play in, and no money to spend. For the past few months, I've been jobless, lonely, and bored. And that's the worst. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty crappy. And what do you do when you're feeling crappy? You wallow. You listen to sad music and watch movies that are depressing and generally make yourself feel crappier than you already did. You decide that life sucks and you may as well get real comfortable. And then you do. This is what I like to call emotional inertia. Just like a body at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an external force, so too will a person in misery wallow in misery until something comes along to shake them out of it. The inverse is often also true. Happy people stay happy until somebody kicks them in the shins. So how do you get out of an emotional rut? Do you just sit and wait for that external force? Well, yes and no. You can't force yourself to be happy, but you can acknowledge the things you do to make yourself feel bad. If you feel guilty about not sticking to your diet and comfort yourself by eating an entire tub of ice cream, that's emotional inertia at work. Guilt breeding guilt. Acknowledge it and stop doing it. If you feel crap, let yourself feel crap. But don't do things to make yourself feel crappier. Do small and manageable things every day to seek out that external force. Whether it be watching an inspirational TED talk, or going for that run you've been putting off, or just listening to music that makes you want to dance. Take baby steps every day. For me, those baby steps included applying for a crapload of jobs. And finally, the universe has responded with an external force to lift me out of my poverty. No, I didn't win the lotto. I got a job. I am now an usher for Cirque du Soleil. And you know what? I'm feeling better already. So what I want to know is what's getting you down? What's making you feel crappy right now? And what are you doing to make yourself feel crappier? Tell me about your emotional inertia. And hey, what baby steps are you going to take to seek your external force? I am not Zay Frank, and this is not my outro.